go. So this bird arrived about one and a half weeks ago. Her history is she was found, I think, in Lake County, down, not able to use her legs. When she arrived at the clinic, she was in the typical stance we see when we're worried about lead toxicity in, in the raptors, having paralysis or presis of her legs. So you can see that her feet are balled up. Usually the feet should be out, but they're kind of balled. She cannot stand up. She has these special bumper guards on her hocks so that uh, we don't get pressure sores. We've had to put special little pads on the bottom of her halix. This is the halix, the big, big toe, that, so she doesn't rub those in her cage. Plus, in her cage, we will have special uh, foam padding, memory foam, that will help to give so we prevent pressure sores. So basically, with this bird and lead toxicity, she's on her chelators. Uh, she, when she first came in, she had a really significant paralysis of the tongue. Her tongue is better. Her mouth is better. But you know, her tongue. No, no, relax. Relax. Okay. Uh, I know. See, so you can see it's kind of. Uh, come on, easy. In your mouth. Okay. Hold still. There you go. It kind of looks worn and dry, but it's much better. Color's much better. So her treatment involves fluids and antibiotics, antifungals to protect against secondary aspergillosis of the lungs, which they're very prone to. She's on. She was on two different types of chelators. Now she's on just an oral chelator. But this type of treatment and intensive hospital care that she gets, this goes on anywhere from one to three weeks. It may be, we're hoping by the third week she'll stand. But I've had some take about a month, so it depends on the bird. Once she stands, she'll continue the oral chelators for at least two months. Even when she stands, once she stands here, then she'll be able to go outside to an outside raptor chamber for sunlight and, and normal perching. She will continue her chelator, like I said, for about two months. The whole scenario of time usually takes six to nine months before she'll be even close to being released. What about cost? If cost, she survives? If she survives... Just the two weeks or three weeks of hospitalization with chelators runs about $3,500. Um, that includes hospitalization, fluid therapy, antibiotics, all the supportive care she needs. We always do x-rays on these birds. We do the uh, blood leads to monitor where her lead levels are. We have to protect her against aspergillosis, so she gets an antifungal called Boriconazole, which is a very expensive pill that she gets every day to help prevent the aspirin. Once she leaves here, the biggest cost hopefully will be food and her antifungal, or her, her uh, chelator, excuse me, DMSA. But we will have to get her in every couple of weeks to monitor her CBC, monitor the blood leads, once we stop chelators to make sure that the lead levels are not coming back up. And who will be who will bear those costs? The organization that is bearing all of this is, of course, it's the California Foundation for Birds of Prey. That's a nonprofit group that is dedicated to the care and rehabilitation of raptors. Now, the Bird and Pet Clinic of Roseville and all the doctors here take care of uh, the raptors. And this hospital dedicates Dr. Cabrera's lots. Dr. Cabrera's appointment is in room three. Dr. Cabrera's one o'clock is in room three. This, this hospital dedicates a lot of their time and effort to the birds of prey. Not just eagles, but um, we probably see on the average from the different wildlife groups four to five hundred birds a year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you. It's our